वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विद यू टूडे क्लास ट्वेल्थ सी बी एस ई बोर्ड प्रैक्टिकल इम्पोर्टेंट वाइवा क्वेश्चन दिस लिस्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज क्वाइट एग्जॉस्टिव एंड ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द क्वेश्चन दैट एक्सटर्नल एग्जामिनर्स जनरली आस्ट हैव बीन इंक्लूडेड सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन टाइट्रेशन टू बिगिन विद वॉट आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ टाइट्रेशन इन इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ इलेवेंथ स्टैंडर्ड वी यूज टू डू एसिड बेस्ड टाइट्रेशन एंड ट्वेल्थ वी आर डूइंग Redox titrations that is KMnO4 more salt and KMnO4 oxalic acid. What is the standard solution? A solution whose strength or concentration is known. What are primary and secondary standards? Solution standard solutions of primary standards can be prepared by direct weighing. For example, oxalic acid and more salt. Whereas for secondary standards, they cannot be prepared by direct weighing for reasons uh, of uh, presence of impurity or uh, with, uh, the compound is less stable. etc why is kmno4 not regarded as a primary standard because it is difficult to obtain it in pure state because it contains mno2 as an impurity most of the times why is more salt preferred as a primary standard in volumetric analysis over ferrous sulfate why because ferrous is readily converted to ferric sulfate by oxidation and mohr salt is more stable and does not readily oxidize in air whereas ferrous sulfate salt is easily readily oxidizable why is dilute sulfuric acid suitable for permanganate titrations kmno4 is a good oxidizing agent in acidic medium and converts to mn2 plus if acid is not used in neutral medium it gets reduced to mno2 giving a brown precipitate so we use dilute sulfuric acid to create this acidic medium why is nitric acid or hydrochloric acid not used to create acidic medium in permanganate titrations because nitric acid is itself an oxidizing agent and it helps to do the oxidation hence the titer value with the nitric acid tends to uh, become less that means the amount of kmno4 used will be less the titer value the value of burit reading will become less and in case we use hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid is a non oxidizing acid and it itself gets oxidized to chlorine gas so more than normal kmno4 gets used up and the titer value increases so i have explained both question 6 and 7 why is dilute sulfuric acid added while preparing a standard solution of ferrous ammonium sulfate to prevent hydrolysis of ferrous sulfate and uh, also to prevent oxidation of ferrous to ferric ions how will you prepare 100 ml 0.1 molar standard solution you can use the formula of molarity to calculate this if you dissolve 3.92 g of more salt in 100 ml of distilled water you get 0.1 molar solution uh, molecular mass of ferrous sulfate ferrous ammonium sulfate that is more salt is 392 which of the following is an oxidizing agent and which is a reducing agent in the reaction of KMnO4 and ferrous sulfate, or KMnO4 and more salt. The oxidizing agent is KMnO4, which itself gets reduced to manganese two plus. Reducing agent is ferrous sulfate, which itself gets oxidized to ferric ion. Which indicator is used in permanganate titrations? No indicator. KMnO4 itself is a self indicator. KMnO4 titrations, the brown PPT is occasionally observed. um why is this so this is due to lack of dilute sulfuric acid if you forget to add dilute sulfuric acid then incomplete oxidation of kmno4 results into formation of mno2 uh, which is in the form of a brown colored precipitate this will mask your end point why is a burit with pinch cop regulator not used for permanganate titrations because kmno4 can corrode rubber why do we heat oxalic acid solution containing sulfuric acid up to 50 to 60 degree in the permanganate titration because oxalic acid reaction is slow and because of high energy barrier so in order to overcome that energy barrier to provide extra energy temperature must be raised for during oxalic acid titration why should a titration flask not be rinsed because some liquid will remain stuck to the titration flask during rinsing which will add up to the volume that you pipe it out which will bring about an error to your final result why must the burette and pipette be rinsed with the solution with which they are filled burette and pipette are rinsed with the solution in which they are filled to remove any traces of water so that when you fill the actual solution it does not change the concentration of that solution i shall be putting a link of a video 
which deals with these two questions in detail with mathematical explanations. I'll put it in the link below. Why is it customary to read the lower meniscus in colorless and transparent solutions, but upper meniscus in highly colored solution? It is easy to read the lower meniscus in colorless solutions, but in place of colored solutions, lower meniscus is not clearly visible. So coming to questions for salt analysis, first you need to know the groups into which all the cations, cations which are called basic radicals, basic radicals, why? Because they come from the base during a neutralization reaction. For example, sodium hydroxide plus HCl to give sodium chloride and water. So sodium comes from sodium hydroxide. It is the cation called the basic radical since it comes from base. HCl is the acid. It gives chloride ion to the salt sodium chloride. So, chloride ion is called acid radical. In general, all cations are basic radicals or anions are acid radicals because anions come from the acid, cations from the base during a neutralization process. The cations are classified into these groups, zero group ammonium ion. Uh, which is uh, characterized by simply adding sodium hydroxide to the ammonium salt, liberation of ammonia, ammonical smell indicates the presence of ammonium ion, which is then confirmed by confirmatory test. The next group, six, six groups we have for cations and each group corresponds to some cations. The ones which are mostly done at the school level, group 1 cation, silver ion and lead 2 plus ion, they precipitate as chlorides. Group 2 cations, copper ion and cadmium ion, precipitate as sulfides in acidic medium. Group 3 are aluminium, ferric and chromium. They precipitate as insoluble hydroxides in alkaline medium. Group 4 cations, cobalt, nickel, zinc ion and manganese ion, they precipitate as sulfides in alkaline medium. Group 5 cations, calcium, strontium, barium, precipitate out as carbonates. And group 6 cation is magnesium ion. Uh, can we use a glass rod instead of platinum wire for performing the flame test? Uh, explain your answer. We cannot use the glass rod because platinum is unreactive, does not produce its own extra color in the flame, uh, masking the presence of other metals. So, if we use glass rod, glass would have its own ions in it, which can mask the result. And next question of importance regarding flame test, children, you need to learn uh, what are the colors of the flame given by different ions and which ions give flame test, which I'm not including here, but I'm just telling you to learn it from the chart um, where you have done salt analysis, right? And then... Uh, how do we, what is the procedure of doing flame test? For flame test, we make paste of the salt with concentrated HCl. Why do we do that? In order to convert the cations to volatile chlorides. Very important question for um, Viva. By using concentrated HCl to make a paste of the salt, we convert the cation to its volatile chloride, which will give the flame test. Now, why is platinum metal preferred to other metals for flame test? Because it is chemically inert. It does not react with other elements to form oxides or other compounds which can interfere with uh, our results. Right? What is the characteristic color of cations of iron, copper, nickel, cobalt, manganese? So basically, what is the color of salts of these ions? Generally, iron salts are light green, yellow and brown. Copper ions blue, nickel ions bright green, cobalt blue red, violet, and pink, and manganese is light pink or buff color. Uh, which color of the flame is observed through naked eye for calcium ion brick red? Uh, green flame with a blue center by which cation copper ion, which cation gives grassy green flame barium ion, and analysis of which group cation gives white fumes in confirmatory test, zero group cation, that is ammonia, ammonium ion. Ammonia gas produced by action of sodium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce ammonium chloride which, which appears as a uh, dense which appears as dense white fumes what is nestler's reagent it is a solution of mercury to iodide agi2 in potassium iodide and potassium hydroxide nestler's reagent is used for confirmation of ammonium ions and it gives brown or yellow ppt with ammonium salt 
What is the name of product formed by reacting ammonium ions with Nestle's reagent? This is iodide of myelin's base and here the formula is given. What is the group reagent of group 1? Dilute HCl. Group 2, H2S in acidic medium. Group 3, ammonium chloride in presence of ammonium hydroxide. Group 4, H2S in ammonical solution in the presence of OH negative ions. And then what is borax B test? When powdered borax, that is sodium tetraborate dot 10 h 2 is heated vigorously in a Bunsen flame, it forms a colorless transparent glassy bead known as borax bead, which is composed of sodium metaborate and boric oxide. A borax bead is used to detect metals in solution. Then the next question is, why is borax bead test not applicable in case of white salts? Because they give, do not give rise to colored metaborates. Why cannot concentrated HCl be used as a group reagent in place of dilute HCl for precipitation of group 1 cations? Concentrated HCl is not used because high concentration of ions increases the solubility of group 1 chloride precipitate through the formation of soluble complex ions. How can one prevent the precipitation of group 4 radicals with the second group radicals? Now, the ionization of H2S decreases in presence of HCl, that is in presence of common ions, that is H plus ions. Hence, the this suppresses less of suppresses the ionization, so less of sulfide ions will be present. As a result of which, less QSP will be observed, which cannot exceed the KSP of group four radicals. Hence, they will be no precipitation. Why is it essential to boil off H2S gas before precipitation of radicals of uh, group 3? The solution is boiled with concentrated nitric acid prior to precipitation of group 3 cations. If H2S is not boiled off, it will react with nitric acid and oxidize to colloidal sulfur, which will uh, interfere with further analysis. Can we use ammonium sulfate instead of ammonium chloride in group 3? We cannot use ammonium sulfate due to precipitation of sulfate, so such as barium sulfate, which may interfere with the investigation of salt. What is aqua regia? It is 3 to 1 by volume mixture of concentrated HCl and concentrated nitric acid. Name a cation which is not obtained from a metal, ammonium ion. All other cations are metal cations. Ammonium ion does not contain a metal. Why are group 5 radicals tested in the order of barium, strontium and calcium? Because barium ion also gives strontium and calcium tests. Strontium also gives calcium tests. So therefore, we do the analysis in this order. Why should the solution be concentrated before uh, proceeding to group 5? Before moving on to group 5, solution is concentrated by adding an excess of ammonium chloride to ensure that the ionic product of group 6 cation Magnesium ion does not exceed the solubility product and thus does not precipitate with group 5 cations. What do you understand by the term common ion effect? Common ion effect means suppressing the ionization of a weak electrolyte on adding a strong electrolyte with common ions. So next we have questions related to anions. For uh, first to begin with, we need to know into which categories, into which groups are the anions classified we have dilute sulfuric acid group acid carbonate sulfide sulfide nitrite remember the formula of nitrite this is one mistake children commonly make concentrated sulfuric acid group is chloride bromide iodide acetate and nitrate and independent group radicals are sulfate and phosphate so what is a radical a radical is an atom or a group of atoms that carries charge and behaves as if it were a single unit in a chemical reaction then what are acidic and basic radicals? As I've told you, acid radicals are negatively charged anions and basic radicals are positively charged cations. Explain the value of preliminary tests. Pre preliminary tests are only indicative. They do not give any confirmation. They just give us the direction in which we can uh, proceed. Name the anions detected with the help of dilute sulfuric acid. So these are the examples. Why is dilute sulfuric acid preferred over dilute HCl while testing anions? When the salt is treated with HCl, HCl gas is produced along with the salt gas during the reaction. As a result, the actual identification, actual gas cannot be uh, identified. So with sulfuric acid, this problem is not observed. Next, we have 
why does a lead containing salt turn black after a long period of time in laboratory due to formation of black lead sulfide in atmosphere as a result of h2s action name the anions detected by constant sulfuric acid chloride bromide iodide nitrate acetate what is water extract water extract is nothing but a solution in water it's also called as os or original solution what is lime water what happens on passing carbon dioxide gas through it lime water is calcium hydroxide uh, it turns carbon dioxide turns lime water milky and due to formation of calcium uh carbonate and on passage of excess milkiness disappears is there another gas besides carbon dioxide that causes lime water to turn milky sulfur dioxide gas shows similar reactions as carbon dioxide with lime water carbon dioxide gas and sulfur dioxide both turn lime water milky how will you distinguish between the two both will be passed through a solution of acidified dichromate sulfur dioxide uh, causes dichromate to turn green whereas carbon dioxide has no effect what is the role of paper pellet in nitrate analysis with concentrated sulfuric acid nitric acid is reduced to no2 more easily uh, by using a carbon based paper pellet because carbon acts as a reducing agent helps in conversion of nitric acid to no2 how is the ring test for nitrates carried out freshly prepared ferrous sulfate is added followed by concentrated sulfuric acid along the walls and a dark brown ring is formed and since sulfuric acid is heavier and reacts with a small amount of nitrate and ferrous sulfate at its surface a brown ring appears only at the junction of the two layers right so why a brown ring is formed at the junction this is the reason what is the composition of dark brown ring uh, in the ring test for nitrates this is the formula of the complex form what is chromyl chloride test a sample of chlorine containing salt is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid in presence of dichromate deep red vapors of chromyl chloride are involved are evolved so you need to know in chromyl chloride test chromyl chloride is formed and what is the formula of chromyl chloride this is the formula of chromyl chloride cro2 cl2 this is the formula of chromyl chloride and it appears in the form of deep red vapors now when these vapors are passed through a sodium hydroxide solution solution becomes yellow due to formation of sodium chromate sodium chromate is again yellow in color and when solution is neutralized with acidic acid on addition of lead acetate gives a yellow ppt of lead chromate this confirms the presence of chloride ion so and this is about chromyl chloride test now why do bromides and iodides not give test similar to chromyl chloride because chromyl bromide and chromyl iodide compounds are not formed bromine and iodine are evolved in their place so this was a quick overview of some important questions children then you need to know all the tests the functional group analysis uh, that is the main test that are used to di distinguish between alcohols phenols benzoic acid uh, etc aldehydes ketones whatever you've done in your school you should know those tests and then uh, any of the content based experiments that you've done in your school such as chromatography or um, whichever tests you whichever experiments you've done in your school you should know important viva questions based on those now i have detailed videos about uh, salt analysis introductory videos explanation videos how to write the experiment and videos of each of these uh, practicals so there also all the important why is and why nots of the experiment have been discussed you can go through those in order to be a pro at viva so i hope you all prepare well and all the best children uh, do well prepare well may god bless you all thank you so if you like this and this is helpful please like share and subscribe all the best